I don't Okay. So let's see. How do you look inside of all that and make sure there's no loose pieces hanging off? You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, everything, everything seemed um, good. Luckily, there was only one um, part of the spring hook that was broken off. You were saying the other day one of the pins was bent or something, possibly? I was afraid that one of the pins was bent, but when I looked at it again, it, I think it was just the angle I was looking. Okay, so the machine at this point is not... The hydraulic is not on. We just have the power on, so we're going to turn the hydraulic on. I'm going to get ready with this block as it goes into reference so that it doesn't fall. It looks like I can just about slide it out right now anyway. So you go ahead and uh, turn the hydraulics on. Okay, so no problem there. It's in reference. Okay. So much for the university dam. <laughs> that was good. Okay, so now you can um, switch us on to a high angled uh, setting so that we can get this to go up. That's one, two. You ready? Transfer with enter. Okay. Save, yes. Okay, so the machine has gone to its uppermost position. Now is the, the time I have to try to hook the spring. Just like the other spring inside of here, over the two posts. Like. So, I mean, we don't have to record me putting the spring into place. I mean, you can if you I want. Can't really you can't see because. Yeah. Otherwise, the battery dies, so the screen kind of goes black. Okay, I'll just point it in the <laughs> I'm gonna get direction. The this will be the hardest part of fishing the uh, spring in there. Okay. I'll grab it. I got a oh, you got a phone right there. Good morning, Tell Don Sharp. Hi. Um, can you hold on one, please? Okay, you're gonna muzzle stop the recording on that. Uh, I have to get a copy of an invoice here. Uh, can I go work? Sure. Voltage down there. Okay, I'm hooked on it. I'm just gonna try to wiggle it in there. Then I gotta get on something. Maybe you need to make your loop smaller. Under. It's so close. Is it, uh, oh, it's like I said, this is going to be a fishing expedition. It's not going to be quick. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh. The fact that you can even see it is fantastic. Okay, so don't move it if you can. I need something that's super mouth so I can jam it in there. Oh. You should put it on hold. <laughs> Okay, so we're hooking it onto the bottom post first, and then I'm going to pull up with this brake tool, spring holder, and hook it around the top one. And in fact, while I'm waiting for Cheryl, I will get something to help me do that.
say no, that grease isn't going anywhere. Now, if this fits under here, I can get it in, but to me, how is that going to fit under there? You know what I mean? Like the, the gap between the pin and the steel plate at the bottom here is smaller than the thickness of this plate. <laughs> really? Uh -huh. so that's what I'm trying, but we can't change that. That's all fixed. That's all fixed. So um, you almost need to wedge it up. <laughs> I, I think the spring probe, or that's probably. Can, that. can you put some pressure on it to that's get it what on? I'm trying. Oh, okay. Um, Maybe. It's going to have to be, we're going to have to hook it, which I don't know how that's going uh, That's a loop. You can't. It's an open ended loop. It's got an open end, so you can. It does? But we can't get, yeah, we can't get the chain to. Yeah, I can see it from here. We can't get the chain to go in that angle. So I'm going to try. Okay, I know what to try. Maybe my coat hanger. Which one did I put it? Ball grain. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> The flashlight? Okay. Oh, is that a battery pack? Yeah. Do you mind if I wear it? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. I got like. Might be a little big, but. Don't poke yourself with the coat hanger. I um. Just address your strap on the right hand side, and it won't feel so awkward on oh, your head. Okay, okay. <laughs> You're all right. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna try if I can sort of loop it. So when I say lift it up, you're lifting it up about like half of a centimeter. Okay. Try lifting it up into the stretch. To be honest, I'm doing this kind of blind. I don't even know. Oh, did I lift no. it? Yeah, no, you did what I needed to do. We also have a crowbar in the back well, if we need to get really good pressure on it. It's just, um, it doesn't fit. So. Because I don't think the open end is big enough to get it or get it on that way. I tried we that could, on this. If we could, because there's this slot cut in the pin. Yeah, I tried that on this side, on the one that we could get at, and I couldn't get it to hook on. Even though I could even get it with my hands. Good day. Oh, good timing. <laughs> We're uh, fixing it. <laughs> oh, sure, you can get your part, but I don't get any of my part. No, we had a part in the drawer. There was a spring. No way. <laughs> yeah. So these things originally used to use three springs at one time, and then they, in, in 2000, he said they changed to two springs. So for some reason we had a spring, and there's also two springs that are aftermarket for emergencies. But we're just trying to hook, see there's a post here and a post there, mm -hmm. but it's the middle two that we're trying to get at, and we have to hook the bottom spring on one of these posts, and that's what Cheryl's working at now while I'm holding it, holding it with a spring holder from the top. But we're having a hard time getting it onto the stud because it's so close to the bottom plate. Right. We need to pry it onto there or something. Maybe you want to give it a... I don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> it doesn't. There's the bottom plate and there's the whatever, the post. The thickness of the spring that I need to loop under is thicker than that gap. So it feels like... So basically, here's the old spring. Okay, so you can't, you can't hook it onto it with the open part because well, it just won't work. So you gotta you gotta get it snap it on. I think it'll it'll snap on. It'll force on. Because it's round. It'll it'll go on. I'll keep trying this. Um, do you want something with a little bit more leverage? Do you got enough leverage there? You want a crowbar? Um let me just Or you want me to go back there and give it a shot? Yes. 
Uh, you can come back and give it a shot. It's pretty easy. Uh, Kurt can give it a shot. He can see it. Lower that a little bit. Okay. Did I get it down? So, Kurt, when it landed on the tooth the first time, Around, you'll, right. you'll need a headlight thing there or something to see in there. Yeah, so so be careful where you're uh, sticking it. Here, let's get, <laughs> let me push on your headlight there. You've got it, you don't have them all turned on. There we go. Can you see where I've got the spring? Uh, yeah. And if you need me to adjust it, I can. Here. <laughs> can you now? Now that the light's shining. See what I mean, Kurt? It just. Can you get a screwdriver from this side on there too? Yeah. Can you get them both going? Maybe that will yeah. help. I don't know. Yeah, you definitely need to get. Yeah. Well, just better leverage. Yeah. There's a crowbar right by the back door. So I don't think a crowbar's fitting in there. No. Okay. Um. We do have some longer screwdrivers, Cheryl, underneath the bench. Uh, they came with that one package. Oh, one sec. I think Kurt's got the idea here. Sven? No, I think oh. it went around. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you got my hopes up. You spun it? <laughs> you see that hook, right, Kurt? I'm like, we have to somehow hook it. Hitting it, trying to jam it in there. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know. If you look at that one, that hook doesn't open up enough to get around to yeah, this. Yeah, the other one this looks a little here. bit bigger. So what I'm saying is, this the the opening is a little bit bigger on that spring, and you almost need to like get into that that rivet. Yeah, well, try it on that I mean, one right can, here, and then you you'll know. <laughs> you can't get the chain to go in that angle. You can't. You'd have to have it go. Mm, right. <laughs> pry this dead up. Yeah. Pry, pry this dead up while you're hooking it. <laughs> it's tough to do. I don't want to like break the stud. I don't want to compromise that stud. Well, yeah, you're right. Uh, Careful your coffee on there, Cheryl. I'd hate to see that short out the whole computer there. <laughs> Could always ask Pete what he does. It sounds like he's done this before.
You'd hate to have to take that all apart to get at it. But, <laughs> you know what? But you can put these four screws out. That bottom plate probably comes right off. Aren't you smart? I'm not even going to do it. Move it. Put the plate back. Screw screw take it out. out these screws. This plate looks like it just sits there. And that probably. <laughs> Pump right down. Uh, this plate is part of this. It's all the way up to the top. Oh, hi, Tia. Sure, no. Robert. How long no, these screws hold this bottom plate in. Good. Well, we're, uh, oh, we're doing I our see. repair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Take that off. Um, I, think we, I think we found a solution okay. while we were waiting for you. Anyway, yeah. okay. we're just that having a hard perfect. time getting that spring hooked under the first post on the bottom because there's just no clearance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we just realized that. We just we'll realized we'll that the bottom plate so would sure that that's <laughs> not, uh, right. I'll put it up here. We're there. So then we're going to hook on the spring and we should be back in business. I, I don't know. Yeah. Sorry to pull you away from whatever here. it was you were doing there. We thought we were, we thought we were hooked. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Actually, I'll leave this one over. Take off the other three. It might even just be enough to loosen it up. Oh, there you go. Ah, <laughs> oh, <laughs> good. No problem. And then, uh, yeah. So Mike told you we found an extra spring, so we obviously don't need to order one. But I was curious what you guys. Um, it, has, it already has moved. I'm not sure what it's called, but it's the little pin that goes inside the stop finger. It's a little carbide pin. You guys no, know those? Not enough. Okay. I'm not going to order right now. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Oh. Professor, I always start something. There you go. All right. Oh, All right. Okay. I want to just. Uh, I'm doing this for our records here, so I'm going to just. So we have to. We had to loosen this, these four screws on the side here to drop this bottom plate in order to get at the bottom posts. On there? Yeah. Okay. I'll make sure I guide it a little bit. We're gonna go. There you go. Okay. Do you got a screwdriver there? I can have. I just don't want this to snap off when I release this. Yeah, I've got elastic bands around this. That's why I can't get it to release. Damn it. Yeah, he said, I'm pretty sure I told him to take that plate off. Said, yeah, there was a lot of information coming in at one time. <laughs> he, he, when he was talking about plate, I was thinking of this top plate here that I took off to spin oh, the motor. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we were, we were on almost the same page. Uh, can you start speaking? Should we grease all this stuff away? Okay. There we go. We See, this tool, hurt. Freaking fantastic for pulling the spring up because it won't fall off of it. It's a brake. You're blinding me. It's a brake, <laughs> it's a brake spring tool yeah. for a car. Sure. Pretty handy. Oh, very handy. Okay, you got a screw tip out there. There's the screws. Oh. And yes. I'll trade your screwdrivers. Give me that one because we can't lose this one. <laughs> It'll be in big trouble. But you've never had a spring break on you? No. Someone's got to be the first, right? There's a. 
Uh, see, Cheryl, this was, two water springs too. this was the part I was worried about, and it's not a concern. I was the spring hitting this, all this hosing. It's just on the other side of it. Uh, yeah, I was like, oh man, how's that? No, I was afraid something maybe got bent. I saw the little curve these old students keep stuff going in there. Dr. Shane? Okay, this block has to come out. Now you know where all your sensors are. This has to come out. It was perfectly dry and clean, no, no evidence of any dirt in the grease. Yeah, uh, it still was kind of green, so. They, I mean, they they do, the, the covers do their job really well. I wonder if this worm gear should have some grease on it. And it, you know, ours, I was looking at ours yesterday, I took the, our main cover off on ours. Yeah. Ours has got this spring coil shield around it. Okay. So you can't even get at it. Anyway. So once we open this up, I was able to actually spin this motor yeah. to get it up enough to get yeah. reference off, off the ground. It, it was below the reference plate, it right. was below one of the blocks. So yeah, so that um, and that was just through this access here, right? Yeah. Okay. And and it's a it's a if you look at it from this side, it's a bizarre poly. Why would it have to oh. be totally like that? It's weird, eh? That's the same thing that's on this motor. Oh, it's the exact same. What it does is... Do it. Test run. <laughs> Remember, it's quiet in here, nothing's running. Yeah. Probably that center. that worm gear you can't even see it turn it's so shiny and okay yeah this goes crazy it's just huge. Right, it's spin you can see it's spinning at the top yeah you can imagine you guys you know, actually design you know what that is that's a spring Looks like a pulley, that's a spring. Yeah, well it, it does connect, but it it's it's basically a coil with two solid pieces on it. So it gives it some, some movement and some flex. Yeah, you can see you can see it's kind of flexing as it spins up and down. So it it eats.